Hi everyone, this is Annie from Pinpointed and I want to talk about how to print labels two at a time on sticky sheets from Poshmark. It's easy to do from eBay and um, you might already have the two two up sticky label sheets because it's easy to do from eBay but when it comes to Poshmark it prints labels either for your thermal printer, which you may not have, like I don't, or it prints them one at a time in the sort of center top of a sheet, thus making it pretty wasteful and also kind of annoying if you're trying to process more than one order at the same time. So I use these uh, two up labels here. I'll put the links down below to everything that I mention um, Or you could use any any brand but these are fine and I have found a way to make them work for both eBay and Poshmark using the Adobe Acrobat app now I already have Acrobat professional because of my other life as a graphic designer and it comes with Creative Suite, which I pay for every month. Um, if you want to just buy Acrobat Professional, you can uh, do so as a subscription. And unfortunately, it's a bit pricey. If you have a PC, there's this Windows version that is $12.99 a month, which would be fine. And if you have a Mac um, or want a fancier version for Windows, there's this version, which is $14.99 a month. And you can see it sort of changes a little bit. Oh, no, it doesn't. Yeah, it gets more expensive if you pay monthly. Um, there's also a one month free trial that you could probably maybe do a few times if you have multiple identities but you know you didn't hear it here so I use Acrobat all the time for a billion things your mileage may vary but it's definitely useful for processing your Poshmark labels um, I'm also gonna try to make a video with free options for doing the same thing. Um, so far I have one that works. It's a little bit of a pain and I'm looking into others so stay tuned for that. So using Acrobat this is the process I use to print two up labels. Go to my Poshmark uh, on the desktop version and go to the my sales page which is right here um, I actually don't have anything to ship right now because I've already <laughs> done my shipping for today but um, just pretend that I need to ship a bunch of things here so I would go into each item that needs to be shipped and down here it would give me the option of downloading my shipping label. I know they also email them to you, but I like to do it all from the desktop version so it's all in one place at the same time. I find that speeds it up rather than trying to find uh, the PDFs in emails. So I would click download my shipping label and it will pop up a thing that says, we already emailed it to you, are you sure? And I'll say, yes, indeedy. And then it will pop up a label like this. And what I do, um, and this, this might look a little different if you're using a different browser or if you're on a PC though, it shouldn't be too different. So what I do is I click this download button in the corner here and it asks me where I want to save it. I just save them on my desktop, but I tend to stick some sort of um, number or letter in front of them in case I've accidentally left old ones on my desktop um, so I can find the ones I really need to print today. So 
like I'll, I'll put a one in front of all of them or a Z whatever um, and I'll save it then I will once I have all my labels saved to the desktop like here you go. I have six of them. Hi, everyone. Um, this is Annie from I will Pointed. select these. And I want to talk about how to print drop them labels two at a time on sticky sheets from Posh Open. It's and easy it to do from eBay in a and separate tab. As um, you, see. you might already have the two two up sticky so label sheets tabs open because it's easy Acrobat. to do from eBay. What I do next but is I want to push mine all of these documents into their one your PDF thermal printer. So I go which you to may not have, like I don't. The file menu to create and I it prints them one at a time into a single PDF in the sort and of it gives center the top of a sheet, thus making it add open pretty wasteful. Files, which and also all the files kind of annoying if you're trying to PDF process open, more than so one cool, order. So they add open at files at the same time, and it shows so them all. So I use and they're these selected, and I say add files uh, two up labels and there here. they all are. The links down below to everything. And I just hit this combine button. Um, and Bravo. Or you could use any it any brand. It creates a file called Binder, but these are fine. Binder one. And that has I all have found a way to make them work for both eBay there. and Poshmark um, using the Adobe you can Acrobat see if you app. Go in the thumbnail view. Now this I PDF already has six pages. have. You can also see that here. Acrobat Professional and because they of are my other life as a graphic you know, designer. Six PDFs that and are open up here. It comes so with the next Creative step. Suite is which you I want to pay crop for every the labels. Um, if you want to just buy you need Acrobat to go Professional, use the editing can functions of uh, do so Acrobat as a do subscription. This. You and may not have this window open, it's a bit in which pricey. case you'll want to you go to have tools a PC and choose edit <coughs> There's this here. Windows version. If you have this um, sidebar thing open, that you is just twelve ninety nine a month, and which would be fine. You want to choose crop, and if you have a Mac. Um, you drag out an arbitrary or box on a fancier version. It doesn't have Windows. to be exact. You have a lot of There's this here, version, but which is fourteen ninety nine. Capture this and you can label. see it sort of. And you'll see there's little corners little on this, which means oh, it's a it box, a crop yeah, box. Yeah, it gets more expensive if At you this pay point, monthly. you want to um, double click. There's also this a box. one month free trial that you could. And you'll get the probably this is what I would call the crop dialog box Maybe but do a few times if you have <clears throat> multiple identities um but and you, know, you want to crop all here. the pages so you say um, all and so you don't have to change anything i use else, acrobat all the time for here a billion like the things. size of the box your mileage you may that are dragged but out it's definitely and useful for processing is relevant your poshmark so you labels just say page range, um, i'm also going to try to make a video okay with and free options for doing the same all thing. The pages are now um, the same so size, far I have about one the size of that the works. It's plus a little, little bit, bit of a pain. And now I'm looking into others, so print. stay tuned for that. Um, I just click so command using P, Acrobat, this is the process I use to print two up labels. And so by I, um, changing a few settings, go to my Poshmark, box, you are going to get your two up labels. Uh, so first on make sure the you're desktop using the printer version. you want to use. And go you to print the My Sales page, which is <coughs> right here. You want to say, um, I actually don't have anything for, to ship right now because I've already um, <laughs> done my shipping for printing today. multiple pages but, onto one um, sheet. Just I pretend to choose that two pages per sheet to ship so that I can have one label. On so I would go into each, each item. You could theoretically that do needs to be shipped. And down here, four, it um, would give me the option small, but of downloading my shipping label. It's getting too small. I know the they also office. email them to you. So I do. I like to do them it too. all from the desktop up. version, so it's um, all in one place at the same time. Vertical. I find that speeds it up rather than trying to find this matters. Yeah, uh, it the PDFs in emails. Thing. So, um, the my orientation is portrait. So I would click download um, my shipping label. It isn't actually, and it will pop up a thing that says, "We already emailed it to you." Are Go you forward. sure? And I say yes, indeed. Portrait, and, and um, then it will pop up a label. Everything like else this. is fine. You'll see and what I do that it's gonna print two labels. Um, um, 
and this might this might look a little different right if you're way, using a different browser or if you're thing. on a pc and though it's gonna it print be too different. three sheets so, so what i do one, is i click this download one, button in the corner here two, three so and six labels it asks me where i want to save and it. then i just hit print and, and i tend to stick and that's it i just save them on my uh, desktop it but i tend to stick I said it all some in detail, sort of but it's um, actually a very quick number process. or letter in front of them so i'm gonna in go in case i've accidentally now, left old so ones on my desktop um quick it actually so is. i can find the ones i really need to print so today i so download all my labels like i'll, I'll put on my sales page on poshmark or a z whatever um I grab and them I'll from my desktop it. and drag them into Acrobat. Then they all I open will, in separate windows. Once I have all my labels, I select the, desktop, the ones like, that I want. There you go. I have to six of them. Um, I'm going to file, create. I will combine files select into these, a single PDF and drop I say them into add open Acrobat. files. They're selected and I add open. them and it opens each one um, in a separate that looks tab. Good. I say combine. It creates a and binder file. So I have six tabs open. At which point in Acrobat. I use edit um, to and I have the spin go to crop. I crop reason. all my pages. Double click. <coughs> there we go. I say crop, so crop them all. Okay. Now what I do next is I want to combine all of these documents into print. one PDF. So I go make sure to my settings are the file menu to print create, all pages and I choose combine multiple files into a single PDF two per sheet and then it gives me portrait, the option to say which they stay open from time to time open files and hit which print that's it all the files so I want to make into one PDF are pretty open easy. so that's cool so I say add open files and and that's how it shows you print them all up and they're selected labels, and I say add files from Poshmark. and there they all are and I just hit this combine Thanks. button and bravo it creates a file called binder binder one that has all six of these labels in it um you can see if you go in the thumbnail view there this pdf has six pages you can also see that here and they are you know those six pdfs that were open up here so the next step is you want to crop the labels and you need to go use the editing functions of Acrobat to do this. You may not have this window open, in which case you'll want to go to tools and choose edit here. Um, but if you have this sidebar thing open, you can just choose edit here and you want to choose crop and you drag out an arbitrary box it doesn't have to be exact you have a lot of leeway here but just capture this label and you'll see there's little corners on this which means it's a box a crop box at this point you want to double click inside this box and you'll get the this is what I would call the crop dialog box, but it says set page boxes for some reason. Um, and you want to crop all the pages, so you say all, and you don't have to change anything else. What it's reporting here is like the size of the box you already dragged out, and nothing else here is relevant. So you just say page range all and click OK and magically all the pages are now cropped to the same size which is about the size of the label plus a little bit now you go to print um, I just click command P but obviously a print is here in the file menu and by changing a few settings in this box, you are going to get your two up labels. So first, make sure you're using the printer you want to use. You want to print all pages. <clears throat> you want to say multiple for um, printing multiple pages onto one sheet. I choose two pages per sheet so that I get one label on 
each sticker. You could theoretically do four um, and make them small, but I worry about the barcodes getting too small for the post office. So I do them two, two up. Um, the page is vertical. I don't know that this matters. Yeah, it doesn't actually matter, I don't think. Um, the orientation is portrait. Um, it isn't actually, but just go for it. Portrait and um, everything else is fine. You'll see in the little preview that it's going to print two labels on my sheet in the right way because the split between the labels is right there and it's going to print three sheets so that's one um two three so six labels and then i just hit print and out they come and that's it uh it might have seemed long because i said it all in detail but it's actually a very quick process so I'm going to go over it fast now, just so you can see how quick it actually is. So I download all my labels from my sales page on Poshmark. I grab them from my desktop and drag them into Acrobat. <laughs> I grab them from my desktop and drag them into Acrobat. They all open in separate windows. I select the ones that I want to combine by going to File, Create, Combine Files into a single PDF. I say Add Open Files. They're selected and I add them. Um, that looks good. I say Combine. It creates a binder file, at which point I use edit to go to crop. I crop all my pages, double click. I say crop them all. Okay, now they're all about the size of a label. I hit print. Make sure my settings are print all pages, multiple up, two per sheet, vertical, portrait, which they stay from time to time, and hit print. That's it. So it's pretty easy. And that's how you print multiple up labels on sticky sheets from Poshmark. Thanks.